I'm the calculus professor and today I'll be talking to you about trigonometric integrals. In problem number 25, we'd like to evaluate the integral of tangent squared x dx. All right, when dealing with uh, tangents, cotangents, secants, uh, sometimes you have to be a little bit creative and think about how can we transform what we have inside the integral into something that we actually know how to take the antiderivative of. Now in this case, it's not so tough. What I'm gonna do is I'm going to use one of my identities, my trig identities, and the identity I wanna use in this case is that tangent squared of x plus one is secant squared of x. Now, if we know that this guy is true, then I could rewrite this integral using that information, and I see that tangent squared of x is secant squared of x minus one. So this is just secant squared of x minus one dx. So once I've made a change like this, the next question I should ask is, okay, so now that I've made the change, does that make life any easier for me? Can I take an antiderivative now? And in this case, the answer is, yeah, I can just take the antiderivative because I know the antiderivative of secant squared of x is just tan x, and the antiderivative of negative one is negative x, and so we're done. Antiderivative of secant squared of x is tangent x. Antiderivative of negative one is minus x, and then we have to add our constant of integration, and we have our antiderivative.